Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Again, I want to thank everyone out there for supporting the channel. If you guys do like the content, if you guys do like the video series, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, make sure to hit that bell button to get alerts and updates on all new content posted on the channel. For today's video, I thought I would jump into options trading on the Robinhood platform. There's been quite a few inquiries on exactly what is options trading? How do you do, utilize options trading as part of your trading strategy? So I thought I'd kind of break this up into a multi-part video. This first video here, focusing on some basic terms with options trading on the Robinhood platform, and then on a few other videos getting into buying and selling options and how I effectively make extra income off my portfolio by utilizing options trading. As you can see up here on screen, AMD, I think this is a great stock for options trading. If you see in the middle here, it has great volume currently, 49 million, just jumped up to 50 million there. If we take a look at the graph up on top there, you can see quite a bit of volatility with this stock. Uh, tremendous growth over the last three months, one year, as well as five years. This stock has really taken off, uh, definitely has been uh, getting some market share away from its main competitor, Intel. If we take a look at the bottom right-hand corner trade, if we click on that button, you can see trade options on the top. If we click on that, there's a whole new menu that pops up. I do like this introductory screen here, going through what a call is as well as what a put is. And I'll kind of briefly talk about that in this video as well. Again, this video is all about getting oriented to exactly what the uh, platform has to offer as well as some of the very uh, few things that you need to know to first jump into options trading. If you take a look at the top of the screen, you can see that there's a number of different dates here. September 28th, for example, October 5th. If I continue scrolling, you can see there's a number of different dates and these are all representing the expiration date of a contract. So essentially an options trade is a contract in which you, as we'll talk about, are uh, required to buy or sell a stock at a particular price. It gets a little bit more complicated as we'll discuss. We can see here there's a number of different expiration dates or when these contracts expire, as well as within each date, for example, November 16th, if we scroll up and down here, you can see there's a number of different prices and these are strike prices. These are the prices at which the contract you'll enter into can execute if you so decide. And we'll kind of talk about whether you're obligated or you have the opportunity to do one of these contracts. It's a little bit different if you buy or sell off a contract here. So again, on each of these uh, stocks, you have different expiration dates. Each expiration date has a number of different strike prices at which the contract will execute. If we go up to the top here, you can see there's a number of different buttons here, buy, sell, call, and put these all represent different ways in which you can buy or sell contracts. So just very briefly here, and again, I want to keep this as simple as possible for new investors on the channel. If you buy a contract, you're essentially buying the opportunity, but not the obligation to either sell a contract as with call C A L L is much like S E L L. That's how I remember that call is for sell and put is for buy. So P U T is B U Y. So if you buy a contract, you have to pay money. If you buy a call, you are having the right but not the obligation to buy a stock at a particular price, whether that be $33 here, whether that be $33.50, but you are basically uh, getting a contract for the right to buy, a, or excuse me, to sell a stock at a particular price, but not the obligation to do so. Likewise, if you uh, buy a put, you're basically uh, buying a contract for the right to buy a stock, but not the obligation to at a particular price, whether that's $33, $33.50, uh, $34, $34.50, so on and so forth. So again, just to go over this very briefly, if you buy a contract, you have the right, but not the obligation to either sell a stock at a particular price as with a call or buy a stock at a particular price as with a put. Likewise, if you sell off a stock, now instead of paying for the contract, you actually get an options premium credited to your account like a dividend, a cash payment to your account. But this time you are now required to do whatever the buyer of that contract wants to do. So if you sell a stock, you are obligated to either sell a stock with call at a particular price or buy a stock with put at a particular price. You, you don't make that decision. And that uh, particular trade can happen all the way up to the expiration date. So for example, if you sell off a call, let's say for example, you do one that's next year for example so let's do february actually let's go all the way out january 17th 2020 so if you sell off a call 
Again, you are obligated to sell a stock at a particular price, all based on what the buyer of that particular contract wants to do. So if he wants to do it next week, he or she wants to do it next week, next month, all the way up until January 17th, they can do that. You are required to sell the stock for whatever particular price the strike price is uh, when the buyer of the contract wants to do that. Likewise, if you sell off a put, you get a cash premium to your account, just like a dividend, you'll be a credit in your account but you have to essentially buy a stock at a particular price, whatever the contract holder wants that to happen. So if you sell off a put, you get a cash premium to your account, but you are now required to buy a stock at whatever the strike price is. So for example, if I did a $35 put, I would have to buy AMD for $35 per share. Each contract is 100 shares, as you can see in the middle there, whenever the buyer of that contract wanted me to do that. So that's the big difference between buying and selling contracts or options contracts on the Robinhood platform. So if you buy a contract, either a call or a put, again, call is the right, but not the obligation to sell a stock when you are buying it. You have to pay money for that. You have to debit uh, your account a particular amount for that particular contract. If you buy a put, again, you have the right, but not the obligation to buy a stock at a particular price. On the other side, sell, you are obligated to do whatever the contract holder wants to do. You sell off the contract to another investor. So you are required, obligated to sell a stock, again, call with sell at a particular price or buy a stock, put B-U-I, P-U-T. That's how I remember that again for a particular price. So if you sell, you're obligated. If you buy, you have the right but not the obligation to execute a particular trade. Then let's, for example, go into uh, one particular price here and one strike price. So January 17th, 2020, $35 put. If I wanted to go ahead and buy, let's say one contract, 100 shares. If I were to go ahead and uh, sell this off, limit sell, I'm again, essentially selling off a contract, I'll get an options premium for that. Uh, for example, it's update to 970. I would get a credit of $970 to the portfolio. Again, a cash credit to the portfolio. I would have to put $3,500 up as collateral. Again, because I am selling off a put, I am basically obligating myself to buying a stock at a particular price if the other investor, whoever buys this contract, would want to do that. Uh, on the flip side, if I were buying this particular put, I would have to pay that $970 a, a debit from my account given to the other investor for that contract. So that is the nuts and bolts of contracts on the Robinhood platform. Again, this is going to be a multi-part video series here. Just wanted to go through some of the definitions. Again, going all the way back to the uh, front page here. On any particular stock, you can go to the bottom right-hand corner, trade, trade options. A nice little overview screen again on what a call is and what a put is. You have different expiration dates up on top as I scroll through those. Within each expiration date, you have a number of different strike prices which the contract will execute. And then if you buy a particular contract, you are paying money to another investor for the right but not the obligation to either for call sell a stock at a particular price or buy a stock with a put a stock at a particular price. If you sell off a contract, you get a credit to your account for the obligation to either selling a stock with a call at a particular price or buying a stock at a particular price with a put. So I hope that makes sense. Just wanted to briefly go through some of the terminology on what all of these different orders are. Like I said, this is going to be a multi-part video. On the next video, I'm going to go through and show you guys exactly how you can buy and sell these uh, contracts to make money either through the selling of contracts or uh, making money through the buying of contracts. And after you buy a contract, you can go ahead and buy and sell those individual contracts off just like you would a uh, stock on the open stock market. So hope that makes sense. If there's any questions about anything that I discussed in this video, please let me know and I'll do an update video describing the particular area of interest that you guys have. So again, if you guys enjoy the video content on the channel, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you guys have any questions about this video, other videos, please let me know in the comment threads down below. I'll do my best to get back to you guys as quickly as I can. So kind of with that, I'll end the video, and we'll see you guys next time.